Hello, in this video lesson I'm going to show you how to use DxO Viewpoint to correct perspectival distortion and tilted horizons. So kick off by going to File Open and browsing to Perspective Before jpeg and this image here will appear and you can see if we turn on this grid overlay that we've got some distorted horizontal and vertical lines these lines on the red pillar are tilting upwards towards the top there and inwards so they're deviating from the original verticals of the shot and these lines on the green fence here are tilting up to the right slightly and they need to be rotated to then run parallel with these guidelines and indeed the bottom of the frame so click here to choose the force vertical parallel tool and that gives you two vertical guidelines and you can then click and drag these to place them alongside a line that should be vertical and you can see in the loop view I get a hundred percent view which helps me place these points with more precision there we go let's just drag that one to follow the edge of this pillar here as well and then as you move between the two you can't see any changes in the loop view unless you untick this and then you can see the line following down there from one anchor point to the other and that helps you get a better idea there's a little refresh icon that will then apply that to the picture and it's now straightening these vertical lines we can do the same on this side as well so click and drag to place that by the pillar click and drag this one again to go to the top of the pillar like so and then click the refresh icon there to apply that change as well and we now have more vertical looking verticals with our building now to counteract the keystone effect of the perspectival distortion you can see that DxO viewpoint has actually distorted the image and we've lost some of the detail at the edge of the frame so we'll need to crop that out later on but before we do that we need to straighten this tilted horizon and to do that I'm going to go down to the horizon section and choose the horizontal level tool and that gives me a new guideline like so we can then click and drag on the anchor points and use the loop view to see the top of this green fence if we go over to here click and drag place a point and then we can get it nicely and precisely along the top of the fence and then click refresh to then rotate the shot slightly you can see there's now more black areas at the top and at the bottom as it's rotating to counteract the tilted horizon and if we're happy we can click apply and the nice thing is we can go back to other tools such as keystoning and fine tune them go back to the horizontal tool fine tune that as well until we're happy with our correction and when you are you can then click apply another useful tool is this one here if we click to compare the before and after you can see the converging verticals there the tilted horizon but things are looking a lot better in this version here we just need to crop it to lose these black edges and to do that we can scroll down to see the crop window and if that's turned on automatically it will then crop the shot to lose these transparent edges or the black edges that we could see earlier I'm just going to go back to a single view so we can get a better look at the picture and you can see that there's slightly more space at this side than there is here so what I'm going to do is click to fine tune the crop and I'm just going to bring this one in slightly to get more of a balance I'm also going to use this rule of thirds overlay grid to get these pillars here bang in the middle of the shot to create a nice symmetrical architectural picture and the other thing you can do here is turn off show grid to get a better look at the shot there's the crop overlay grid we're turning on and off as you can see and you can also change the mass capacity so you can see less or more of the edges of the frame that you're cropping out so when you're happy then click apply we can turn off the grid view now and get a better look at our corrected picture and don't forget you can go back to any of the tools and fine tune things because the original information is accessible at any time until of course you close and save the picture this bit here looks a little bit too close to the edge of the frame compared to this section of the building here so I'm just going to fine tune things by just dragging that inwards a little bit more like so just to help us get more balance and then click apply let's pop back and compare the before and the after version you can see this version is actually quite a wide building by counteracting the distortion we've also squashed this shot inwards so we can fine tune things by going up to here the horizontal vertical ratio enables you to drag it to the left to then stretch it a little bit more in the width department and that will then help to counteract the distortion that we created when we squashed it inwards you can also dial down the strength of the perspectival correction if you go back down to the center of slider here you'll see that the vertical lines are converging more inwards towards the top there now so you can get a compromise between complete straight lines and slightly tilted ones and that just helps create a more natural looking shot without distorting it as much let me click apply to make the changes now and now this shot's looking a little bit wider and the lines are still looking much straighter than they are in the start image so let's have a closer look at the end result I think the building's still a little bit narrow so I'm going to go to the horizontal vertical ratio and if I click down here I can stretch it horizontally a little bit more just to then make it slightly wider and more like its original design let's click apply just to finish fine-tuning our corrected image 
and then I can pop up to here and choose save and that will give me the option to save it as a JPEG at 100% quality. Click OK.